This is the Fubot. So, what is a Fubot? Well, you're a good air guru. Hmm, okay. Breathe deep, it's clean. I'm not entirely sure if this freshens the air for you or just analyzes your air to see whether or not it's full of pollutants. But in this day and age of cars and greenhouse gases and all that kind of stuff, what could be more important than having lovely clean air to breathe? So there's an air quality index, get all your details from sensors or have a quick glance at the computed air quality index. Okay, uh, a coloured light without a U, a classy LED light displays air quality in real time. Blue is good, orange is poor. Sounds simple enough. App monitor. Setup is easy. Plug in your FooBot, download our free app, and get started. Pollution charts. Real time data is great is a great start. Past data offers even more, even greater insight. And get notified. If pollution goes above the threshold, receive an instant notification and regulate air quality. Control a growing number of home connected devices like ventilation, filtration and purification systems. A bit of a blurb about the health benefits of having better air, you know, not dying and things like that. Uh, sensors include gas pollutants, particle matter, temperatures, humidity, CO2 and outdoor pollution. Now I live in a fairly unindustrial part of town. Um, it's uh, by the sea, so I imagine the air quality here should be excellent. I'd like to think that. Uh, to get this out, we have to cut this seal. But it would be interesting to take some <laughs> this to China or something like that to see uh, just how bad it is. Or if it turns out my air quality is poor, I'll be interested to know why. And hopefully this will tell me. This Fubot already, or likes you already. And there's a little heart here. It hasn't met me, so... Uh, we, we pop it open like this. Here it is on top. It's it's quite sizable, and it's got a USB on the end. Uh, in the box, it shows here. Plug your Fubot in. I'm hoping it's meaning. Uh, download Fubot app. Set up from the app using the QR code there, and there's a user manual here. Elsewhere in the box we have a plug. So we'll get right down to it. Uh, I suppose we need that for the QR code. And have a quick look at this. Uh, it's, it's like a rubberized plastic. It's not quite plastic but there is a There is a, a texture to it, a bit just like the, the cable as well. It feels quite luxuriant in the hand, and it's got this kind of a design to it. There is a hole at the bottom there, a hole at the top, and a hole at the side. And other than that, there's not a whole lot to it. Nothing opens or closes, there's no buttons. It just sits there. So I'll plug her in and see what it says. Well, it changes colour. There you go, it's a bit purple there. I'll turn this light off so it's not quite as... And we'll go and get the app. So here we have the app up and running on our little Arcos Diamond Alpha. A phone I'm very much liking. So I've got a Fubot. Set up your Fubot. Okay, so we're plugged in, ready to go, turn the Fubot upside down. That's a bit unusual. 
LEDs blinking fast, which they are. Put it back. <laughs> and connect it to our network. And we wait for the Fubot to blink five times. It did blink five times. So this is our main interface that gives us everything we need to know at a glance. As you can see, everything is great. And off to the side of the great are a bunch of other little facts and figures that make up the decision that everything is great. I'm not going to pretend that I know what all of these mean. I'm just going with the idea that blue is good and orange is bad. So carbon dioxide is showing at 451 ppm, which is blue and good. The volatile compounds is 126 ppb. Certainly that means something to someone somewhere. We also have temperature and humidity levels as well, or moisture in the air, which helps us build an idea of just how healthy the room that this is located in happens to be. Tapping on one of the circles attached to the larger circle gives you a better breakdown of what is actually happening inside that subtitle. Here you can see the carbon dioxide breakdown shows a very simple guide as to what is good and what is bad, and we're sitting in the great range. And of course there is a handy overview that breaks things down into hours, minutes, days and weeks to let you see how well the Fubot has been in, is performing, and at what point during the day things might happen. For example, after using it for the entire day we can have a look and see at 6am the carbon dioxide levels were very low. However, inexplicably in the afternoon it seems to climb up quite high, possibly whenever the boiler in the room flicks on. And you can see it actually brings it up to almost advisory levels. Tapping on one of the bars allows you to add in something that you might have been doing at the time, like cooking, cleaning, or in my case, breathing directly onto it. Then going and tapping on the carbon dioxide bubble at the start, you can go in and have a look at the actual breakdown to see what it measured at the time on the carbon dioxide level specifically. Then of course there's danger levels, and having breathed on it for a couple of seconds, I've managed to get it up to 100 and a poor level. Once this is reached, you, the application can send notifications to you to let you know that something's wrong. People are in danger, and people could start passing out. So the Fubot lives happily in my kid's playroom, where there is a boiler, and a little cause for concern having seen that carbon dioxide level rise just a little. It's a handy box of tricks to have, especially if you have kids, it does feel a little large for what it does, but then of course the instruments inside are quite advanced. And there's links down below as to where to get one. So thanks for watching and take care.